Furthermore, what are the common errors that are made by Muslims during the holy month of Ramadan? The common errors committed by the Muslims in the month of Ramadan can be broadly classified into four categories. The first category is the common errors committed by Muslims regarding the obligatory rules and regulations of fasting. The second category is the common errors committed by Muslims which are contradictory to the sunnah of fasting. The third category is the errors committed by Muslims mainly due to neglecting the obligatory duties in Islam and indulging in acts which are prohibited. And the fourth category is the other common errors committed by Muslims in the month of Ramadan. Clearly, Dr. Zakir, it's going to be difficult for us to um, discuss all of the common errors made by Muslims during the month of Ramadan in this one interview. But over the next 32 days, we will, inshallah, try to cover those issues. But could you just um, state or list the most grievous mistakes made by Muslims in the month of Ramadan? As far as the common errors that fall in the first two categories, inshallah, we'll be discussing in detail in the next, inshallah, 30 days. I will, inshallah, speak about the common errors committed in the third and fourth category. Before we discuss categories three and four, can we at least list the most common errors from sections one and two? The most grievous amongst the errors in the first category, that is errors committed regarding the obligatory rules and regulations of fasting is, the most common is that Muslims, many a times, they don't do the niyah for fasting. Intention is very important. Without niyah, without intention, the fasting is not accepted. So making intention is obligatory. And we'll be discussing this, inshallah, in detail, inshallah, tomorrow. The second error is that many a times, Muslims, even after the Fajr, Azan has started, yet they continue eating. And they think that the end of Suhoor time is only at the end of the Fajr Azan. In fact, the moment the Fajr Azan starts, the moment the beginning of dawn starts, the Suhoor time ends. So this is an error which normally nullifies or invalidates the fast. The third error in the first category is that many people, they delay paying their zakat al-fitr. And many a times, they pay after the Eid al-fitr salah. If we pay the zakat al-fitr after Eid al-fitr, then it is like normal charity. It does not come under the zakat al-fitr. So these three are the most grievous in the first category.